ತತ್ಗಣೇಶಾ ವಿಮಹೆ ವಕ್ರತುಂದಾ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ದಂತಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತಿ ಓಂ ಓಂ ತತ್ಪರಂಪರ್ಯ ವಿಮಹೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಲಿಂಗೇಶ್ವರ ಧೀಮಹಿ ತನ್ನೋ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತಿ ಓಂ ಓಂ ಯೋಗ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಗೀತಾನಂದಗಿರಿ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಓಂ ಯೋಗೇನ ಚಿತ್ತಸ ಪದೇನ ವಾಚ ಮಲಂ ಶರೀರ ವೈದ್ಯಕೇನ ಯೋಪಾಕಾರೋತ ಪ್ರಬರ ಮುನೀನ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಂಜಲಿರ್ ಆನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ಅತ ಸಾಮಿ ಪದ ಶಬ್ದಾನುಪಾತಿ ವಸ್ತುಶೂನ್ಯೋ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ದಿಲ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆಬ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ಮ್ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಪತಾಂಜಲಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಸ್ ವಿಕಲ್ಪ ಓರ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನೇಷನ್ in imagination there is a sound and there is knowledge of an object or concept but there is no real basis in reality when thought is not based in reality it is called imagination it is the opposite vritti to pramana pramana or cognition A verbal expression may exist for something that is not based on actual existence of form. In this case, there is no form, but only a verbal depiction of something, thus creating something out of nothing. Swamiji described this as verbal diarrhea, where people talk and talk and talk without any consistency or substance in what they say. one can say anything such as a crow a crow has horns but such a statement has no basis in reality prana and states of mind evolution depends on the quality of prana which determines the natural radiance existing in nature the path of evolution extends from mineral to plant to animal to human to superhuman to deva and asura and finally to the divine itself the highest prana is at the level of the cosmos itself normally understood as god the ancient tamil scriptures such as the shiva puranam describe the process of evolution from grass to worm to trees and animals ghosts birds gana lord ganesha the lord of these forces helping us to evolve deva and so on the mind also goes through stages of evolution we may talk about evolution through either prana or mana consciousness there is a natural flow in the scheme and one form is neither better nor worse than the other humans are not better than worms swamiji often teased his students with the fact that flies have so few brain cells and yet they are smarter than humans who have millions of brain cells why It is difficult for humans to catch a fly because the fly is using every one of its brain cells whereas humans are using only a minuscule number in relation to their infinite capacity. When we talk about the mind fields and the accompanying whirlpools we must understand that there are five levels to the concept of mind itself. The lowest level is called muda, dull, inert mind, which is like clay or mud. The next level is kshipta, 
a totally distracted mind. The mind cannot stay fixed to any point. Kshipta is the common state of mind of the average human being on this planet. Commercials are becoming shorter and shorter because people's attention span is becoming shorter and shorter. They cannot concentrate on anything, even commercials, for more than a few seconds. Vikshipta is the next highest state where the mind is partially distracted. The buddhi, the intellect, is still not active. If buddhi were working, one would not be caught up in this first three stages. It is only in the fourth stage that the mind actually starts to focus on any one thing. And the stage is known as ekagrata. The flow of the mind is now one-pointed. As the magnifying lens can produce fire from the sun's rays by focusing on one point, so the mind in ekagrata has great power. Niruddha is a fully controlled mind. The term comes from the same root word as nirodha, given in Sutra 1-2, meaning the totally controlled cessations of the vritti. In the state, the self is the master of the mind, and spiritual realizations may now begin to dawn from their inner awareness without distortion. The process of thoughts can be compared to the process of birth and shedding of skin cells, which begin from the deep layers and then come up to the surface where they are shed and die off. The process of thinking, however, goes both ways. Thoughts come from the deeper unconscious layers, through the subconscious layers, to the conscious layers, but thoughts can also go back to the deep levels. The cells of the skin, of course, cannot go back. Samasta Sukinu Bhavantu Sarve Janaha Sukinu Bhavantu Um Shanti Shanti Shanti